So this is this year's Christmas jumper. <coughs> Got five laser cut snowflakes. Um, they're all different, just like the real snowflakes. Um, Arduino Pro Mini, single Arduino Pro Mini, and a single 4000 milliamp uh, hour battery, LiPo battery. And they're all connected in parallel, so they all play the same pattern. So when one changes, the other changes. Um, just like that. So, I'm going to wear it out in public later. <laughs> See how that goes. Okay, so here's how to uh, make up the stars for the jumper. So, here's some laser cut snowflakes fresh off the laser cutter in the local Fab Lab in Limerick. And here's the strips of um, LEDs, RGB LEDs that I put in each snowflake. So the snowflakes are cut with a 16 mil hole in the middle so that when I make a hexagon or a circle close enough out of the LEDs that they fit perfectly. So I bent these first and measured the, um, the diameter and then I Designed the snowflakes around the um, around the LEDs. So um, that's just to show you an example of the snowflake once it's um, peeled. That's one side. So there's our nice wee snowflake ready to be ready to have a, a whole bunch of them by the way all different as I said just before just like real snowflakes anyway so now we want to bend this so that um, it fits inside the hexagon in the middle of the snowflake I've pre-soldered this and stuck some hot glue on it you might notice here that there's a little bit of extra hot glue over there that's to prevent the contacts here from coming in contact with the PCB traces on the other side short circuit um, so we'll bend it now so the way I do that is I just take um, a small screwdriver place it along the line of on the PCB and just bend a little bit so each time you're bending about is it 60 degrees 30 degrees, I can't remember anyway. So there, we've just bent. So we end up with just like a hexagon. And the little bit of um, hot glue is preventing it from joining. So, and I've cut it tight at the end. So normally between each join, there's a little bit of extra. So I just cut it flush with the LED just so that we have a little bit of space when we twist it around. So that's kind of what we get there. So next to see if we can get it into the LEDs, it takes a little bit of persuasion. So there's our, so you're trying to line up the LEDs with the acrylic, which is four mil acrylic. Or maybe it's five mil. It looks more like five mil because it's actually the same thickness as the LED. So you can see there that they match up nicely. Um, so I'll just go and hot glue that, and I'll be back in a second. So I'm just giving it a bit of hot glue. So I basically put a little bit of hot glue in each. Uh, hold between the LEDs and just make sure it went into the acrylic. So that's all ready for mounting. So for the mounting on the jumper, just poke the wires through and just tie a couple of loops on each. I'll just show you that. So on the jumper, you can see here there's a little bit of thread, a little bit of string on each side and the wires are cut through. So on the other end the wires are poking through and just a little bit of trying to tie the snowflake on. The wires are just loose inside 
Um, I'll give it a look at that then. This is the inside of the jumper. Pretty rough, but it works and no one's going to see it. Um, down here we have a LiPo battery, which is going to be a Velcro down to the inside. This is sewn because it's the heaviest part. Arduino Pro Mini, or Trinket Pro, or whatever you like. And then all the connections are then in parallel, the data. And the um, uh, plus 5, plus 3.7, 4 volts, whatever comes off the LiPo. It's good enough for the LEDs. Um, all in parallel, all five um, snowflakes are all in parallel. And that's it, simple. It took a few hours to do, which is fine. So that's it.